Hello everybody from Cleveland. This is Zach Hample here with you at Progressive Field, one of my very favorite stadiums. Now it is a beautiful sunny day today, as you can see, but it's very chilly. Temperatures are soon gonna be down into the 40s, so hopefully the baseballs will still be flying out of this place. We got some interleague action for you. The Atlanta Braves are in town. Last night, they played a doubleheader here against the Indians that lasted almost until midnight. Now when games go that late, it can jeopardize batting practice the next day, but I can see through the gates, the batting cage is set up. So hopefully there's gonna be lots of action before the game and during. Let's get inside. All right, here we go, off to the races. And as you can see, this section is much more crowded here for batting practice than it has been in my previous videos. But thankfully, that didn't matter today. I got a baseball within the first minute or two, a home run by a lefty on the Indians. Not sure who hit it, but I can tell you it bounced off some dude's glove, came right to me. I bobbled it a bit, but did recover it. So I'm on the board. That is 1,498 consecutive games for me with at least one ball. 1,500, baby. Here we go. Hey, hey. Up, bro? Whoa! I got one for me and one for my little fellow over here. Are you kidding? Yeah, for you. Thank you, guys. Yeah, no problem. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. How about that ball sitting right there? <laughs> Mondo! Mondo! There you go. You want one? Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Thanks. That's Helping me pad the stats a little bit. I'll take it. Yeah. Not everything can be a jumping catch on a home run, right? So. Can this little guy get a picture with you? Yeah, for sure. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, thank you. Wow. It's a pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Sometimes things just work out nicely. Thank you. Nice hands. Thanks. There is such a good vibe here today at the stadium. Everybody's being super friendly, from the ushers to the fans to the players. When Jake Bowers ran over to right center field to retrieve a baseball, I asked him to play catch. I figured he'd ignore me like most players do when I asked that, but he turned and threw it right to me. And when I threw it back, he threw it to the kid next to me and then went right down the line and played catch with everybody in this section. I love seeing stuff like that, when the players are being really interactive with the fans. And then of course you just saw those two kids in the bullpen that recognized me from these videos and wanted to hook me up. They gave me three baseballs. So five so far, the Braves are just starting to hit. They got some guys with tremendous power. There's definitely gonna be some action out this way. All right, here's Acuna in the cage. Righty hitter, you wouldn't normally expect righties to hit baseballs this far to right center. He has ridiculous opposite field power. So I feel like anything is possible with him. Acuna, baby. I did. Nice. Played pinball. Wow, Acuna just hit that one like 450 to right center. That's ridiculous. Check that out. Now, did you get one already? Yeah. This one, he did not. The guy in the red sweatshirt did not get. Want this one? Yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. Sure. Awesome. You're giving these guys a good education, so we don't do that just too much. So I'm glad to hear that. Hey. You might be in the video now. You're definitely gonna be in the video now. Check this out. This young man right here has asked me to sign his cup trick, a device for getting baseballs that are out of reach, so let's do it. I've gotten one on the stairs there, and then one time back there, and then I got one in St. Louis when I went there. Very nicely done. Thank you very much. Sure thing. Not much action from the Braves' final group of batting practice today. Everybody was right-handed. There was one switch hitter as well taking some lefty cuts. He wasn't doing anything, and there were no home runs hit out to right field. And actually, the Braves only had two groups of batting practice today. Normally, teams have at least three. In September, when the rosters expand, you get four. So perhaps that late-night doubleheader last night did affect things after all. Now, after BP, I caught up with a whole bunch of fans next to that bullpen section people who are so enthusiastic about baseball 
and who watch these videos, I met one family that drove 14 hours from Quebec to be here. They also hit up Comerica. They're doing a whole road trip, making the rounds. I met other people as well who are trying to see as many stadiums as possible. And of course, that's kind of what I do every season. For right now, it's about 45 minutes until game time. I'm gonna wander around a little bit, see what's gonna happen next, and then for the game, I'll be back out there in right center field, hoping for a long ball. I guess, can I do the chorizo taco? This is one of my favorite features at Progressive Field. A staircase out in the right field corner that leads right down to field level to this area, this little nook that used to be the visitor's bullpen. They converted it. It's now an area where fans can actually hang out, look right through this chain link fence. You can see the players up close. Brian McCann, the Braves catcher, playing catch right now from about 50 feet away. And I picked up a whole lot of food. Now, the nachos here, and the brew, that's my videographer Ian. He likes to try the local beers wherever he goes. And we have a chorizo sausage for me with some sweet corn, some cheese, some chipotle sauce. Let me just walk around, give you guys a little 360 of this place, or maybe a 180. It's not very big, it can't hold that many people. But what a real, oh, we're, we're doing the 360 after all. Nice job, Ian. So you can see what it looks like, just a great spot. And I feel like more stadiums should really have places like this that you just don't really see cool spots to hang out and check it out from a different angle. I love it. I say it almost every time I come here, and I'm gonna say it again right now unbelievable access in the stadium to the bullpens. So tonight, really cool to get a close-up look of both starting pitchers, Max Fried for the Braves and Shane Bieber for the Indians. Now with Bieber, I was right behind Roberto Perez, the catcher, watching those balls come in at 90 plus miles an hour, smacking the glove. It was practically making me flinch. And Bieber looked good, but then in the first inning, he struggled. Gave up a solo home run to Josh Donaldson. The Braves tacked on another run. They're up two to nothing right now in the top of the second. Thank you. Look at this. The man, Ricky Passioni right there, bullpen catcher for the Indians. I was dying to get one of these cactus spring training baseballs, got the Florida one a couple weeks ago. You're a lifesaver. Hell yeah. Thank you. From, that's from Jim, the best usher ever. And wait, we gotta get this guy in there. This is Jake. It's been a while, This man. is a father-son duo right here. Now, Jim is always super friendly when I'm here. Jake is currently stationed in Fort Bliss. Fort El Bliss, El Paso. El Paso, all right, in the Army. So, reunited here in Cleveland. I just texted him to say, hey, I'm gonna be at the game on Sunday. He's like, well, so am I. And I gotta give so, a quick shout out to the El Paso Chihuahuas, folks. Come see the, come see the El Paso Chihuahuas, site of the AAA All-Star game this year. I will try to make it there someday. I don't know about this season. So, the ball from Ricky was my seventh of the day. That's the, the cactus ball. And this one from Jim is number eight, because I do count balls from stadium employees. So, the numbers just keep piling up here. Thank you both, gentlemen. Thank you. Lots of crooked numbers tonight on the scoreboard, and Josh Donaldson is putting on a hitting clinic. He's three for four, two home runs, four RBIs. 
and it's all Braves tonight. They're winning 9 nothing in the top of the sixth inning. Right over my shoulder, you can see that the Indians have yet another pitcher warming up. That's Oliver Perez, who it seems has been around in the league for like 45 years. I love him now. I remember him from his days with the Mets. I used to see him all the time at Shea Stadium. So, I mean, the Indians are a great team this year. I feel like it's going to be them and the Twins battling for the AL Central, but man, it is not their night tonight. Nice catch. That was slick. <laughs> Give me one. Yeah. <laughs> Slugfest here in Cleveland. The Braves jumped out to an 11 to nothing lead, and then the Indians scored five unanswered runs at the end to make it a little bit respectful. But there was a position player who got in the game, so maybe not that respectful after all. Kevin Ploiecki, the Indians catcher, made an appearance on the mound and had a 1-2-3 inning. How about that? One of the most effective Indians pitchers of the night is not even supposed to be pitching. Gotta love when that happens. Even if your team is behind, it's always fun to see. Now as for me, I had an amazing day, as always here in Cleveland. People are just so friendly, and this section is so fun. The whole stadium is fun. I got eight baseballs today. Now five of them were tossed up by people who knew me, so I feel like it's kind of like a soft eight, but I will definitely take it. And by the way, guys, I did a video this off-season talking about my charity fundraiser for 2019. Every single baseball that I snagged throughout the 2019 season is raising money for a children's baseball charity called Pitchin' for Baseball and Softball. I'll throw a direct link in the description to my fundraiser for that. So definitely take a look, consider getting involved. If you donate, you can win some really cool prizes. What else, man? I got some free ice cream right here, still working on that. Had a nice pregame meal, checked out the former bullpen. I mean, got close-up looks of the players warming up. Even the grounds crew doing their thing. Man, we're driving to Pittsburgh after the game tonight. So much going on here. I gotta leave. I think I'm the last fan in the stadium. Just like a trend, you know? In most other stadiums, they'd be like, gotta go, gotta go. But here in Cleveland, super chill. If I wanna hang out for a few extra minutes, no one's gonna say anything. 10,717 lifetime baseballs. We'll see what happens next. I'm out.